Hello guys and girls. Behind me is the absolutely stunning Bobby Castle. Uh, I'm about to have a game here, uh, give you an idea of what I'd hit off the tees and how I'd play this golf course. Uh, we've got a Devon and Cornwall PGA event here this week, so I will uh, be thinking about where I'm going to leave my golf ball, what I'm hitting off the tees, and hopefully putting a score together. Come along and let's see how we get on. So the first was playing into the wind. I've hit a six iron just to leave it on the top plateau and hopefully leave a nice full shot into the green. 100 yards on the dot was the number, just hit a 55 degree wedge, trying to control the distance and the trajectory. I left myself about 15 foot, just a little bit left to right and didn't quite break, but an easy par. The second hole is a sweeping dogleg from right to left, and with the wind down and from left to right, I hit a four iron to make sure I didn't run out of room. I turned this about 15 yards and managed to hit the fairway. 142 was the number. With the flag on the right, I aimed a little left of the flag and just faded it in towards the flag. A downhill putt right to left. I got it right in the jaws, but just a tiny bit lacking in pace. Easiest four. The third hole is brutal. 202 yards over water with water long. I hit a great six iron, just pulled it a little bit. This left me a long sweeping putt downhill from left to right. I judged the pace quite well, but a little low. So four or five feet or so, managed to knock this into the middle of the hole for a good par on a tough par three. The fourth hole was playing back into the wind and with bunkers at 290 and about 300, I just hit my mini driver to come up slightly short of those. I had 270 in, but I'm trying to be a little bit more sensible. With lots of trouble up by the green, I hit a 7-iron to leave myself a full shot. I left myself 97 yards, and what a great call this was. I hit a quality, quality shot that landed just to the left and ended up with a kick in birdie. The fifth hole, again into a bit of wind and left to right. I've hit mini driver and again hit a real solid one down the middle. I had just over 140 yards. I've tried it a three quarter nine iron and I've pulled it a little bit. It's carried the water, but just missed the green to the left. Oh. So a pretty straightforward chip and run with a 50 degree wedge, just running it towards the green and left myself about five feet and managed to roll it in for a nice up and down par. This was playing slightly downwind 160 yards, I've hit a 9-iron to make sure I didn't go long and with the flag on the right I was aiming just slightly left of the flag. So I was really pleased with the tee shot, hitting it about 20 foot left of the flag and then hit a great putt and boxed it for a birdie to go two under par. The next hole's really, really tight, and with the wind slightly into him right to left, I've hit mini driver and again split the fairway. This left me just a shade over 140 yards. I played a 9-iron and just held it up into the wind a bit too much and missed it just on the right. Me, a pretty straightforward chip that I managed to roll down to the hole side for another up and down. Another tight par 4 with water down the left. Into the wind, I've hit a really, really solid mini driver straight down the middle of the fairway. This left me 150 yards, a flag at the back. I've hit 9-iron to make sure I didn't go long. About 25, 30 feet, I've hit an absolutely fantastic putt here. It's caught a lot of the hole, but just not quite dropped. A tough pin position and a tough hole, a nice safe par. This par three was playing 158 yards. I've hit nine iron, it was a little downwind. I didn't want to go past the pin, I've hit another solid shot. So big old swinging putt here. I've aimed about five feet to the left. I've slightly overread it, but I felt like I hit a really, really solid putt. And again, 
a quite a tricky par three, safely navigated and a good solid par. Playing slightly downwind this par five, very gettable. I've hit mini driver off the tee and again hit an absolute stripe straight down the middle of the fairway. That left me 230 yards to the front edge, slightly downwind. I've hit a really solid hybrid, pushed it a tiny bit, but because I got the right club, it carried onto the green. An outside eagle chance from about 25, 30 feet up the hill. Hit a good solid putt, but just didn't quite hit it hard enough, but left not a great deal of work left for a real nice safe birdie to go to three under par. One of the toughest holes on the course and playing straight into the wind. I had to hit driver here, hit it really solid up the middle, just fading to the right-hand side of the fairway. Really good call, really good drive. So even into the wind, even after a good drive, I had a six iron here, hit an absolutely gorgeous shot, just landing on the front right of the green and turning in to about three feet. Had to be careful because this putt had a lot of break but rolled it in. Tough par three, just over 200 yards. I've hit an absolute grotter of a five iron. Left myself slightly short-sided. I've actually played a really, really nice 55 degree wedge, giving myself a chance here. I thought the putt had a little bit of right to left in it, so I've hit just outside the right edge. It's not turned and made a bit of a costly bogey. So these next two holes are potentially drivable. This one was downwind, but there's a lot of trouble down by the green, so I've just hit an iron. It left me just over 100 yards, and I've hit a sand wedge, aiming a little left. It didn't quite come back as much as I'd hoped, but it got me a birdie chance. Now this is the first big misread of the day. I thought this was just a subtle break, and it broke five six feet and actually left me quite a tricky putt luckily i managed to um managed to roll it in aiming just on the left lip and hit a nice positive putt that still only just caught the right edge of the hole but managed to make the putt The next hole was playing 280 to the front edge, but was straight back into the wind. So I've hit a six iron to try and leave myself around the 100 yard mark. 97 yards was the number, so I've just hit a nice three quarter sand wedge. Controlled this really, really well and managed to get it pin high. Which left me about a six footer that I managed to roll in for another birdie to go back to four under par. I've hit four iron here. The wind was a little bit down and out the left. I've just leaked it a little bit to the right, but right is a lot safer than left. I've hit a nine iron just playing for a bit of a flyer here from about 165 yards, and it came out like a bullet, went to the back edge. And this is the first part I've kind of decelerated on a little bit and left it quite a long way short, to be fair. Left myself about six to eight feet so I've had a little look. Luckily, it was just a tiny bit of a breaking putt. Gone through my routine. God, my routine goes on for a long time, doesn't it? So I've just started using a line again, just to make sure I get the, um, get the right starting direction couple of practice swings and then I was really really happy with a stroke because it would have been a silly bogey after only having a 9-9 into the green but I've hit a really nice putt and rolled it into the hole. 